Well, the finals keep coming on this dramatic third night of the World Under-20 Championships here in Finland. Next up, it's the men's 1500 metres, and this could be a fantastic race. The world leader is Samuel Tefera, and he's going for gold here in Tampere tonight. Introduce the 12 athletes going for gold. And this man, Jakub Ingebrigtsen, is most definitely in the conversation. There's Tefera, Manangui, Soget, Bibic, Hayward's a big talent from Britain, Van Rail, Saucer, the other Ethiopian, Tier, Davis, and Sharad, who's got a strong finish in him, the Algerian. Van Rail in there as well. Here is the full lineup for the men's 1500 meter final. It includes a European junior champion, a world leader, a world under 18 champion, a European champion. They are piled through with talent. One of the great races in any global athletics event, the 1500 meters. This race has been teed up as possibly the race of the championship. The Ethiopians strongly represented. Behanu Sosa. It is Robin Van Royal of the Netherlands. National Junior Indoor Champion. Callum Davis of Australia. Cooper Thier, the uh, Californian, representing the United States, studying in Oregon. Here's a man who knows about winning a gold. He did it in front of a thrilled crowd in Kenya. George Menangoy, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the brilliant Norwegian European champion. Usama Sharad, the Algerian disqualified in Nairobi last year. Sondra Juven of Norway, they have the, both their athletes through. Elzan Bibic looked good in qualifying. A four-time national champion, personal best along the way. Justice Soget has run in Diamond League senior meetings this year. Here's the world leader, though, and he's already a world champion in 2018. Samuel Tafera of Ethiopia, the man to beat. Maybe this young man can do. Jake Hayward from Cardiff, former European junior champion, a two-time gold medalist in European athletics on your marks the 12 athletes competing in the men's 1500 meter final so they're underway there have been six ethiopian winners including the great Haile gabri selassie back in 1992 in seoul and tafera starts very much as the favorites in this three and three quarter lap race after winning very impressively, a world title in Birmingham, where he produced a very strong finish and showed a real kick in his legs to take gold back at the beginning of March. But in the early stages, Soget of Kenya has gone to the front with the two Ethiopians right up on the shoulder. Soget leading now with Hayward, tucked in nicely. Tufire, Sorsa. You just see Inga Britson kind of dangerously manoeuvring there on the outside. And Inga Britson is just a precocious talent, the young Norwegian. He laid down a marker as well, Inga Britson, in the uh, qualifying by making sure he gave his competitors a real race. He wanted to show that despite the fact this has been a discipline dominated by the East Africans, that the Europeans can lay down a marker here as well. 2016, it was a Kenyan, Kumari Taki, who literally fell over the line to take the gold medal. And it is a Kenyan who's leading at the moment. Soget is at the front. Interestingly, Manangoy is just at the back at the moment. Of course, his older brother, Elijah, is a world champion at 1,500 metres. And Manangoy thrilled them last year in Nairobi by taking the world under-18 title. Tafiri 
He's looming menacingly there. You can see he's made a bit of a break by going to the front. Hayward needs to be careful he doesn't get boxed in here. Sorsa is close to the action as well. And is Ingebrigtsen moving up the Norwegian on the outside? Sogets has taken them through 800 metres in 205.9. Tafera uh, is up there as well, the Ethiopian, and he is in front at the moment, the world indoor champion. Jake Hayward is running right on the inside, but he might have to be a little bit careful not to get too boxed in. And look out for Sherrard as well, number six on his left thigh, because he's got pace. Manango is not in the best of positions either. This is such a tactical race. You have to find your spot. You have to time it right. And you feel a change in pace coming out to fear. Has had enough of hanging around, and he has made his break. Bibic is coming. He's looked really good through the rounds. The Serbian athlete, he's gone with Tafira. So they have the bell at 1100 meters. It is Tafera going for a second world title of the year. But Bibic is threatening to upset the apple cart. Inga Britson's coming as well. Hayward's trying to stay with them. And here come the two Kenyans as well. Soget and Manangoy are making their move. Manangoy, the one under 18 champion. Inga Britson up there. Hayward making a run. Bibic is gone. But Tafera's in front. It's Ethiopia leading. Kenya second and third. It's shaping up to be a really good finish at the 1500 meters. And Soget is on the shoulder of Tafera. And as they hit the home straight, don't discount the Norwegian. Inga Britson is there. And Manangoy is coming with a run. Soget holding on. Tafera is beaten. But who's going to be the winner? Manangoy's going to do it. He's a double world champion. Inga Britson second. Soget third. 341 71. A fantastic race. And the Kenyans do it again. Following in the footsteps of Kumari Taki, Manangoy repeats the victory of Nairobi here in Europe. He's the world under 20 champion. What an incredible run from Inga Britson, timed it to perfection. Was going for the win, but you know what? That is an incredible silver. Manangoy is a hugely talented Kenyan athlete. Absolutely super result. You see Tafir in the background. He's disgusted. He didn't put in the performance he wanted. Inga Britson is he a tiny bit disappointed? No, he's getting a flag. Thank goodness. What a great performance by these Kenyan athletes. They're so tactically aware. Bibic, you see in the background, the Serbian athlete. I think he could be one for the future. Has been impressive threats. But Sagat, Monangoy, and Inga Britson. It's their night tonight. Great effort from Inga Britson, what a talent he is. But we must really talk about the tactics of Manango as we look back on this race because he wasn't in the best position and you actually wondered if he could get really boxed in. Tafera was in the front, Soget actually was in a better position as they came towards the end. Inga Britson also was looming at this point and actually Manango has to come from a long way back and look at the grimace on his face, he's got to dig deep. Could he do it at this point, you wondered, as Tafera faded what a performance in the last 100 metres or so from Menangoy. That was fast and that is champion material. Menangoy has serious pace at the end of his races. He can turn in some incredible times with 400 to go. And you can see there with 100 to go, he was able to depend on that pace. Just sprint hard to the finish. Inga Britson nearly pulled that off. You know, I said he was a little bit of a cheeky pup, I think was my description of him through the qualifying. but. You know, that's probably part of his talent as an athlete. He really backs himself. Very, very confident young man. And Angoy had a great run as well. The result of the men's 1500 meters final. Manangoy of Kenya takes gold ahead of Jacob Ingebrigtsen of Norway. A Kenyan bronze as well.